We have got 250 one ounce silver forum bars done, dusted, and ready to go. I have to put this tray down because it's rather heavy, let me tell you. So here they are, the one ounce silver forum bars for 2021. <laughs> Everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Now today's video is a formal unveiling of the one ounce silver forum bars for 2021. We published them over on the silver forum earlier this week, but this is the first YouTube altogether look at 251 ounce bars, which we have got in pre-order sales right now. Very exciting times. So we're going to talk all about those today, but also I have a little bit of a personal update as it relates to silver pouring here on the Backyard Bullion channel. A lot of you probably know it already if you've watched the live stream we did last week, but to cut things short, I had an accident, I dislocated my kneecap, very sore, very painful, I'm fine, I'm doing very well, but I am on crutches, I need to rest, recuperate, and that means standing on my feet pouring silver is not going to happen for the next couple of weeks at least. Just to really, I mean, something like this is so serious that if you don't pay attention to it and treat it with respect, it is going to come back again and again and again, and it's been a bit of an eye-opener. So I want to talk about that as well as we go throughout the video, but first let's talk about the super cool one ounce forum bars, the positivity that we can get out of these uh, to make me forget about my very sore and painful knee. So for those that don't know, the Silver Forum has been a long-term sponsor of our channel and we in turn are sponsors of the Silver Forum and we've been working together with them over these last now five years to make branded poured silver bars and rounds for them and the most popular, the highest mintage of all the products that we do for them are these one ounce ingot bars and this is the 2021 edition, really happy with the way that they've all turned out. You can see we've got a huge pile of them here on the table, there's 250 of them in fact this year. It's the first year that we've actually increased the mintage for them, the Silver Forum has grown exponentially since we first started making these bars back in 2017. Uh, so yes, the fifth year, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it has grown massively. And of course, the membership base has grown as well. And the popularity of poured silver generally is at an all-time high at the moment. It really is. You know, you see so many talented people out there pouring their own silver and uh, it is a cool way of being able to have a unique product, something different, something cool. Uh, you know, coins and rounds are all very good and well, but there's something really satisfying about a piece of poured silver that you can pick up, touch, feel, enjoy, not really too worry, uh, worry too much about the condition of it as you handle it. And that's what I love about poured silver and that's what we love about making these products for the Silver Forum. So. I do want to put a little thank you here to Chris Silver, the owner of the forum, for their continued support of our brand and the ability to work with them has been a pleasure uh, and hopefully long into the future as well. And I know a lot of you have also been asking about some of the other size products that we do, the 100 gram, the 3 ounce and the 5 ounce rounds as well. Those will be coming out later in the year. This is the first release that we've got and we have the others in store for the rest of the year. So uh, if you are interested in these, the way that it always works, and I know a lot of you will be clicking through to my website right now to look for them and to pay, basically want to buy them right now. Um, these had traditionally not ever really been sold on my website. Uh, they are very much going to all go in pre-sale and the way that we have worked it in the past and the way that we are continuing to work it is that if somebody owns a 2020 edition, they get the same right of refusal or the same serial number. They get the first right of refusal for the same serial number in 2020. And 21 or whichever current year we are in. So every single bar is serialized as you can see on the sides of the bars there. Uh, now we have increased the mintage this year so there will automatically be 50 bars at minimum that are unallocated. Uh, history has taught me as well that there's usually between uh, 50 and 60 bars that each year people don't either take up, don't uh, they don't want to, they can't, or uh, they just don't get back in touch. Maybe, maybe their emails have changed or something like that. So there are always bars that are available and we run a waiting list and we do random allocation for people on that waiting list because we're always oversubscribed. So if you are interested in grabbing hold of one of these bars, then the single easiest way to get involved and put your name on that waiting list is to head on over 
to the Silver Forum. The link is down in the description below. Join up. You can join completely for free. There's no, there are paid memberships with discounts at the various memberships for bars, but you don't have to be a paid member to get one of these bars. Uh, and once you are signed up, you just put yourself on the waiting list in that thread that I've linked down below. And then in the first week of June, we will be drawing a random lottery to see who gets uh, a bar and then you can grab hold of it. So that's the way it works. That's the way it's always worked. And it's the fairest way to do it. So that uh, in, in past, I've had times where I've listed products on my website and we've had you know somebody come in and buy 20 of them. And, I, and that's fantastic. I don't disparage people who like to buy in bulk. And uh, it's always a pleasure to get a order coming through for something like that. But ultimately, as a kind of brand, both myself and Chris Silver over on the Silver Forum, um, we want as many different individual people to have these bars as possible. They're a way to support the forum. Some of the proceeds from the sales of these bars go directly to the forum. So financial support goes to the forum for this. And as I said, the forum is a free place to use if you so wish. Uh, and it's very low memberships, all things told, for the different tiers as well, uh, with various different benefits. One of the best things about the forum, though, is the trade section, which I use almost on a weekly basis. It's fantastic. It's where I've bought... It's where I've bought spot price gold, spot price silver. It is absolutely brilliant, fantastic place. So if you are interested, you'll not only be supporting the Silver Forum, but our brand as well. So head on over and check them out if you've not done so already. Now, I wanted to also point out just uh, another quick thing that I do every year for these bars, because I think it's so important, and it really is even more pertinent and important right now, uh, considering some of the uh, news and drama that's happening within the silver community right now. I'm not going to go into any details. I really don't want to be drawn into uh, what's going on. I'm basically sitting back with a bowl of popcorn, avidly waiting for the next development in that saga. But purity and guarantee of purity is a critical thing. And these bars are all assayed by the Edinburgh Assay Office. What does that mean? That means that the Assay Office has taken every single individual bar, they have tested it with uh, XRF machines, they have tested it with various other pieces of technology, they've even drill tested samples of some of the bars and fire assayed or chemically tested, if you will, the actual silver purity. Uh, and I'm very proud to say that we have had no issues, these bars went flying through, uh, some of the assay results were very close to 4.9 silver, which is fantastic, uh, so really nice high quality and that those marks you see at the bottom, these four little marks there at the bottom, they are the guarantee of the purity of these silver bars. And that is, I think, a really, really important thing, uh, as I said, very much so in light of current uh, situations evolving in the silver community. So this is one of the little cards that we give out with all of them, but you can see some of the information about hallmarking. It's a really good thing. It's not a cheap thing to add to uh, any silver, uh, poured silver repertoire, but here in the United Kingdom, in addition to it being very, very good to add to your silver, it is actually illegal to look to sell your silver or describe it as silver anyway, if it's not exempt in a form of a piece of bullion and there's a whole bunch of gray areas about what is technically bullion and what is not. And my argument is that these bars, they're art artistically unique, they're individual, uh, they are not sold as bullion, they're not sold as investment products. That's another thing to just remind you all of, you know, this is not uh, an investment piece, this is very much a collector's item that you would want to buy to support our brand and the Silver Forum. Um, so bear that in mind and that's why I always hallmark and I always will as well as the fact that it gives you guys a guarantee of purity, which, as I said, is pretty critical right now. So that's pretty much, I think, all the information, I think, about that. So fair warning, if you have a 2020 bar and you're seeing this video and you want to match your serial number, you get first right of refusal at it and you can get in touch immediately and you can buy your bar and we'll ship it out straight away. They are done. They are ready to go. If you are not in possession of a 2020 bar, but you are interested in these and you want to get hold of these, then go over to the Silver Forums website, links down in the description below, and you can sign up and sign onto the waiting list. So that's basically it in terms of these bars. Uh, I do want to round up this video with a little bit of an update on what I said at the start there. So I did have an accident earlier this week, dislocate my kneecap, which was absolutely bloody awful. I'll tell you what, if you have never done it, you are lucky. And if you have done it, you'll know exactly what I experienced and uh, not very pleasant at all. Don't really want to go into any of the gory details, but it was uh, very, very scary, very painful. Uh, I feel like I have been exceptionally lucky in the outcome that has happened because uh, I am mobile, I can weight bear, I can move around well, I've got good range of movement on the knee right now, but everything is very sore, very stiff, 
on crutches to keep weight off. Uh, you know, I'm doing the, what's it called? The rice thing. So rest, ice, circulation and, uh, and kind of compression and elevation. That's it. Um, so there's just a period of time now that I need to take to focus on that and standing up at the silver pouring bench, uh, you know, for five, six hours a day, which is what I have been doing for the most part, you know, three or four days a week this last couple of months is not something that I want to uh, put in jeopardy my recovery. And also the last thing I would ever want is to have an issue where the knee goes again or it has an issue that I can't resolve whilst handling molten silver. Um, so for the time being, for the next at least two weeks, probably three or four, I will be taking it very easy and not pouring silver. That doesn't mean that we won't stop, uh, that we're gonna stop making content here on YouTube. If anything, it means that the content we create here on YouTube is going to be uh, more frequent, bigger, badder, better. Um, you know, we're gonna be doing a few more live streams. Oh, 250 ounces, not easy to lift up, but there you go on my little plastic tray. Um, we're gonna be focusing on, of course, getting these out the door as best as we can. Uh, but simple things like even going to the post office is difficult. Can't drive right now. Uh, or at least I think I physically can drive, but I really don't want to drive. If I had to do an emergency stop, emergency brake with my bad leg, that is just not something I want to think about. So no driving right now. Uh, so posting is done on you know days when Mrs. Backyard Bullion is not working and she can take me to the post office. Um, so I, I just want to say there will be a few delays. There will be issues to work through, but they're minor in the grand scheme of things. And it does always put you in perspective when you get issues that happen in life and um, you know it, it is scary sometimes but I think it's important to look after oneself so I know a lot of other people have told me that already and um, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has got it outstanding orders with us for poured silver as well as uh, stuff that we had said that we were going to be posting out last week that uh, obviously we couldn't get to the post office for uh, everybody's been wonderful everybody's been so understanding and, and brilliant and um, you know that that's really heartwarming so a big thank you to all of you uh out there and to anyone else who is interested in in ordering we will be having a bit of a delay and a break so your patience is greatly appreciated so otherwise that's it for me today uh thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this uh, i will be sharing more uh updates on these as we go throughout the pre-sale period uh it's very unlikely that there will be things listed on our website uh, or these bars listed on our website because uh, the way it's shaping up right now in terms of waiting list, we're going to be selling everything out um, in this in this pre-order say in this pre-order phase uh, and waiting list phase. So maybe there'll be something in turn on on our website. But for now, best way to do it, head on over to the Silver Forum links down below. Uh, otherwise, thank you all for watching. If you could put a thumbs up on this video before you go, that would be wonderful. Otherwise, let me know if you're a BYB rambler. If you stay to the end of my tangent-driven rambles on silver and gold let me know by saying hello down in that comment section otherwise have a great week ahead stay safe we'll see you on the next one and as always please make sure that you like share comment and subscribe for more